Hi, this is Rabbi Dan Gordon, and I'm going to share a story for all ages. This is truly a story for all ages because age is part of this story. And as I share my screen, I'm going to tell you about what the story is about. It comes from the Talmud, which is a series of books in the Jewish tradition that is not part of the Bible, but it is to embellish stories to help us learn more about different things. And I hope you learn something today. So this story is called The Carob Tree and it's a Jewish folk tale. And it is about a man named Honey. Now Honey was considered a sage. Sage is a very interesting word because sage is about someone who has a lot of wisdom. And what I like about the word sage is it has age in it. But just because you have age doesn't mean you have wisdom. It takes learning to gain that wisdom. And in this story, Honey is going to learn. One of the things that Honey really loved was trees. And he loved to know about how trees grew, and he loved to know different facts about them, but especially he liked the fruit from certain trees, and he especially loved the carob tree. You see, a carob tree grows in Israel, and it starts out very small, and it actually takes 70 years to bear fruit. When it starts, the fruit starts coming up green, but then as it gets a little bit older, the fruit turns brown and it has a hard shell to it. And when you take it off the tree and dry it out, then you can open the hard shell and inside are seeds that taste like chocolate. And this was part of what Honey loved because who doesn't like chocolate? So one day Honey was taking a walk and along the way he found an elder man who was planting a tree. And it looked kind of like a carob tree. And Honey asked the man, what kind of a tree is this that you're planting? The man said, it is in fact a carob tree. And Honey started to chuckle. He said, sir, carob trees take 70 years before they can bear fruit. Why are you planting a tree at this old age of yours? when you will never be able to enjoy the fruit. And the old man said to Honey, when I came into this world, there were trees. Somebody must have planted them. And so I'm going to plant this tree so that my grandchildren will be able to enjoy it long after I'm gone. Well, Honey thought about this statement and continued on his walk. But he didn't get very far because his mind was filled with all kinds of thoughts. And so he stopped shortly afterwards to take a little nap. But you see, my friends, it wasn't really a little nap. Honey didn't realize that he fell into a deep, deep sleep for a very, very, very long time. He slept so long, he did not even realize that his beard had grown longer and longer. When he finally woke up, he looked around and he saw a full grown carob tree right near where he had fallen asleep in the same spot where he had found the old man. Well, this was a very exciting thing for Honey. How could that tree have grown so quickly just while he was napping? And so he looked around and he didn't see anybody, but not very far away, he saw a young man feeding sweet carob seeds to his daughter. Honey went up to the man and said, I was here a little while ago and I took a nap, but I saw an old man planting a tree and I can't believe that it grew just while I was sleeping. The young man said, well, I don't think it's the same tree. This tree was planted 70 years ago. My parents told me that my grandfather planted this tree 
Before I was even born, Honey's eyes grew and he realized that he had been asleep for that long a time. And he also realized the lesson that the old man had taught him. And so my friends, as you go along, remember that seeds are not just about trees. There are seeds of learning and the seeds that we plant today are going to benefit people from generations to come. And that is our story for all ages, Pony and the Carob Tree.